First, we look at the AND gate. When input A is 0 and B is 0, and execute the clock, the output is 0. When input A is 0, B is 1, and execute the clock, the output is 0. When input A is 1 and B is 0, and execute the clock, the output is 0. When input A is 1 and B is 1, and execute the clock, the output is 1. This AND gate consists of two inputs, a clock, an output, and coupling plate. These plates are connected with two switching pins. The clock plate moves in vertical direction and executes the logic. This is a switch pin for input A. The output plate also moves in the vertical direction. Result can represent 0 and 1. This is a switching pin for input B. The actual linkage is implemented via the coupling plate, which has two L-shaped openings for the AND operation. And it also moves in, in the vertical direction. The input plates move in horizontal direction. These plates are stacked and connected by two switching pins. Here is a truth table for the AND gate. Only when A and B are 1, the output is 1. Now we check whether the AND gate works correctly. To show the mechanism, I will remove input plates. Input A is 0 and 1. Input B is 0 and 1. First, when input A is 0 and B is 0, then the clock pulse executed. The output plate remains in its original position and the result is 0. Next, when input A is 0 and B is 1, then the clock pulse executed. The output plate remains in its original position and the result is 0. Next, A is 1 and B is 0. The clock pulse executed. This time, the clock pulse is forwarded to the coupling plate. However, the output plate remains its original position and the result is zero. Finally, when A is 1 and B is 1, then the clock pulse executed. The clock pulse forwarded to the coupling plate and the output plate. The output is 1. So we have fully verified the AND gate. Next, we look at the OR gate. When input A is 0 and B is 0 and execute the clock, the output is 0. 
when input A is 0 and B is 1 and execute the clock, the output is 1. When input A is 1 and B is 0, then execute the clock, the output is 1. When input A is 1 and B is 1 and execute the clock, the output is 1. This OR gate consists of two inputs, a clock and an output plate. These plates are connected with two switching pins. The output plate moves in the vertical direction. The result can represent 0 and 1. These are switching pins for input A and input B. The actual linking logic is implemented via the clock plate, which has two L-shaped openings for the OR operation. The clock plate moves in the vertical direction and executes the logic. The input plate moves in horizontal direction and set two inputs A and B. Input A is 0 and 1. Input B is 0 and 1. These plates are stacked and connected by two switching pins. Here is a truth table for the OR gate. Only when A and B are 0, the output is 0. Now we check whether the OR gate works correctly. To show the mechanism, I will remove input plates. Input A is 0 and 1. Input B is 0 and 1. First, when input A is 0 and B is 0, then the clock pulse executed. The output plate remains in the original position. The output is 0. Next, when input A is 0 and B is 1, then the clock pulse executed. The clock pulse is forwarded to the output plate and the output is 1. Next, when input A is 1 and B is 0, then the clock pulse executed. The clock pulse is forwarded to the output plate and the output is 1. Finally, when input A is 1 and B is 1, then the clock pulse executed and the output is 1. So we have fully verified this OR gate. Thank you for watching.